if Mrs. fucking Jenkins' husband cheats on her, guess what? It's the werewolf's fault. I ain't talking about, like, Migos' little baby chains. I'm talking about, like, rusty-ass chains that you need to get a fucking tetanus shot for. And you know if the character has different kind of eyes, you know they're gonna be fucking OP. Yo, what is goody? What is up? Yes, I know it's a little bit different. I know we have more space now. I was gonna be committed to doing vertical, but I said, fuck it, let me just update all my equipment. And I've had it updated for, you know, mad months already. But I felt, you know what? It's time to get back. It's time to get back to doing full reviews of indie comics and manga. I'm here, bitches! Which is what started this whole shit anyway. So now I'm gonna be handpicking specific projects to do full reviews. I'm still gonna be doing the mini reviews on, on social media, on uh, Instagram and TikTok, but I'm gonna be doing full length reviews. Uh, I have no idea how long they're gonna be. All of them are gonna be fucking different, but I'm gonna just be going through projects as I fucking go along and read them. I don't know whether I'm gonna fucking pre-read them before or, yeah, I'm probably gonna pre-read them before because you guys are gonna be sitting in fucking silence, you know, how the fuck are you gonna listen to me read? I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna read the projects, kind of just capulate my thoughts a little bit, and then I'm gonna go back to them, run it back from the top, and just fucking go crazy, go bananas, do what I fucking do best. Today we're checking out Salvation. I, I met the two brothers that created this. I think they're two brothers, I'm not sure, but I met two dudes. It was at Brooklyn Comic Con. It was either last year or two years ago. Super chill. I bought a bunch of issues from them. I bought posters that aren't hanging up in my office. In fact, no posters are hanging up in my office, but I, I gotta get to fucking working on that. But they were mad chill, and I, the project's just been sitting because I also had digital stuff that, that I was creating and a whole bunch of things. I finally got a chance to sit down, read this project. I already knew it was gonna be fired just based off of the artwork, but damn, like, we gotta get into this. So, Salvation... <clears throat> this is Animation Comics Entertainment. Right off of the bat, the fucking cover. The cover is fucking legit. It, it, it brings up that curiosity for you. And you know if the character has different kind of eyes, you know they're going to be fucking OP. I mean, we're talking about Naruto, Sasuke, Meiji, any character, any mate. Did I stutter? Yeah. <laughs> Any character that has different eyes, other than regular fucking humans, they're gonna be fucking OP. Um, so right off of the bat, I'm already hyped for this. It starts off with the main character, Vaughn. Now, apparently he's got some sort of curse, right? Again, we're reverting to Naruto because that's the only thing that I can fucking think of right now. Or maybe Jujutsu Kaisen, whatever it is. But yeah, my dude is cursed. So he's just laying in bed, minding his own business, having a couple nightmares or two. When all these crazy ass people are outside of his cabin with pitchforks and torches. And trust me, I understand. Anytime that you see people that aren't black with pitchforks and torches... You're automatically gonna be scared. I should have reviewed this during Halloween, but we're gonna keep rolling. Now, these people are pissed. Uh, apparently, some crazy shit happened in the village, and they're blaming him. And this is classic vampire, werewolf type of storyline where you're in a village, and everybody knows your business. Everybody knows that you can transform into fucking Hulk, either willingly or not willingly. And anything that goes wrong, they're gonna fucking blame you, right? If Mrs. fucking Jenkins' husband cheats on her, guess what? It's the werewolf's fault. If the kids fucking slap milk on, on the fucking kitchen counter, guess what? The zombie did it. Um, if the fucking dog goes into the garbage and fucking throws everything all over the place, hey, blame it on the fucking vampire. So that's the scenario that's going on right now. And everybody's fucking screaming, and we got this priest who's fucking lurking in the shadows, looking mad fucking creepy. Basically gives the main character two options. You can either get the fuck out of here, or we're gonna fucking kill you. If it was up to me, say no more, I'm getting the fuck out of here, let me pack my bags, and I'm on the first train fucking smoking. I'm getting the hell out of here, because I'm not fucking dying for you people. Um, the only thing that sucks is that Vaughn's love, Sylvia, 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 is, she's from that village, so he has to leave. I guess, I don't know where she is, it's probably going to be revealed in, in maybe the next issue or something. Fast forward a couple of months, and this guy Vaughn is putting in work. And I mean like slaying demons, and not like the demons that, you know, you have to go through your internal battle. No, I mean like legit demons, like look at this dude, look at the chains on this dude. And I ain't talking about like Nigo's little baby chains, I'm talking about like rusty ass chains that you need to get a fucking tetanus shot for. That shit making a lot of noise, man. That shit hollow as fuck. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like Vaughn is big time. I mean, you know, this is a big ass demon, and he's just out here fighting the one up with him. And you know, he makes quick quick work of this one. Let's put it that way. He makes quick work. You can see it in the artwork. Um, fast forward, he meets up with this girl Talia. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, Talia, she looking kind of bad, man. She got the little skin tattoos and the and the tattoo on the chin. But we're gonna be respectful because her grandmother's there. But basically, they have dialogue and. The person that Vaughn was supposed to meet to get rid of his curse can't do it. And so he has to meet some warlock dude. And, you know, he just pieces out. So while he's on the road, uh, this weird ass uh, horse and carriage thing passed by him. And there's four characters that look like they're from Elden Ring. One of the chicks looks at him mad, mysteriously, and weird. So I automatically know that they're popping up. But that's not even the weird thing that happens in this scenario. My man is walking in the middle of nowhere. If you see this random girl, a random girl talking about, hey, help, hey, help, automatic sus, automatic suspect. Don't you dare even help that person. It smells like a setup. I'm from New York. Walking in the streets of Manhattan, you keep the blinders on. You know how them horses got those little blinders? Keep it moving. Keep it moving through the subways, crosswalks, Times Square, fucking uptown, anywhere. You just fucking keep it moving. And, of course, the main character has to be the heroic one and stop and help this person. I, t I, I warned him. I told him. I was like, yo, this girl seems kind of crazy, but he decided to help her anyway. All right, cool. You can help her. So, apparently, what happened, this demon is attacking our house and our family's inside. Vaughn goes over there, and we got big demon number two. And this one looks way bigger than the other one i mean this one is like the size of the house he's got fucking ram horns like this dude is fucking diesel um and then vaughn again light work of this demon i mean look at this action uh, this scene right here <clears throat> it is super dope i mean you can tell that it has the detail where it needs to have the detail it's simple where it needs to be the font is dope just the the movement and the motion on the characters I, I fucking love it i love it this could be like a screensaver background right here so vaughn and his demon get the scrap and vaughn lays the smack down on this fucking demon he wins the girl's family comes out and they're like hip hip hooray come in have dinner with us hang out for a while all right that's red flag number two for me all right I, all right now i understood there was actually a demon there she was actually in trouble it's like all right cool the demon's done Y'all are saved. Y'all don't even know me, so why are you inviting me over? You just seen me kill a demon. How you know I'm not on demon time myself? And of course, Vaughn, he's a little bit clueless. So he just goes in, you know, has dinner with them. Like, he never seen any horror movie or, or, or Resident Evil video game. It's like, yo, like, you're just gonna sit here and eat with these people? You don't know if they fucking poison the food. Maybe they ain't even season the food, right? How you even know it's good? I'm anticipating not eating the plate of it. But it's alright, cool. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe these people are nice and they just chill and they want to have a little Airbnb right now. Alright, cool. You know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm bugging. Alright, cool. Now you're going to sleep over. Vaughn's sleeping over at these random people's homes. And then guess what? Your boy's little curse mark starts to awaken and he starts to hear some crazy ass sounds. Some crazy ass chanting coming out of the basement. Yes, you heard it here. I was right all along. These people are fucking crazy. Look at that. Pentagram on the floor. Green light. Screaming some crazy ass language chant. Yeah, these people are fucking crazy. They're witches. You need to get the hell out of here. But of course, Vaughn doesn't get out of there. This crazy ass demon spirit gets to drop on him. And now they got him, look, spread out on the fucking table. They could have had him butt ass naked. This is some kind of freak kinky shit right here. But yeah, they got him spread out. He got caught lacking in 1080p. And it's over for your boy. All right. I thought it was done. It was like, yo, how you getting out of this? Like, yeah, uh, unless you can melt fucking metal, you're done, bro. You're done. So apparently that demon, <clears throat> demon number two, that Vaughn slayed outside of this house was actually the grandson of this family. So we got four people right here. We got the grandparents, we got the daughter, and then we got the grandson. So the grandson was a demon. And basically how it became a demon was he was ill and these grandparents or whatever, they tried to do some spell to heal him and they actually turned him into a demon. So he's excommunicado. Now, they need to sacrifice a life, which is Vaughn, to get the grandson back, which is O.D. wild. 
I told you, boy, you got caught lacking. Now, here's the fucking cherry on the fucking cake, right? As they're explaining this to him, guess what? The mom is also a fucking demon. And she fucking transforms, and she starts going fucking crazy. Lord, please pray for the soul of this bitch. Now, demon number three kind of realizes that Vaughn is some property of his master, and now he's taking it upon himself to re- Um, you had- you- you Can't even fucking talk. He's taking it upon- or she's taking it upon herself to take his soul to whoever his master is or some shit. I don't know. You, you want super details? Yeah, I got to read this for yourself. So this demon is ruthless. This demon ends up clapping the grandfather, right? So he's done. Look at me. Blood, chest meat, all hanging out. Vaughn ends up getting fucking unhooked from that freaking sex machine. And now him and this demon start to clap. And this demon got some big ass titties. So that's kind of crazy. You got some big ass titties. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, I'm getting kind of turned on right now. But anyway, yeah, th they're scrapping. Uh, Vaughn's little curse seal or whatever is kind of like being awakened. He's got this crazy-ass red aura. And now the, the battle is getting heated up. So this shit is getting crazy. So they get the scrapping, and Vaughn kind of, like, powers up. This is like fucking K.O. Ken. Like, I got demon energy right now. Mazaku. And he fucking obliterates this fucking demon. So, right? So our boy Vaughn. He's 3-0 and right now. He's about Perfect. to be Floyd Mayweather of kicking demons' asses. But, yeah, he puts in that work. Um, and then at the end, unfortunately for the grandmother, she lost her whole entire family in one night. Vaughn is like, yo, you got something to live for because now she's super depressed. And she ends up murking herself. But whatever, that's the end. Super dope project. I mean, this artwork, again, artwork is phenomenal storytelling it's capturing my attention um i know this is like the introduction to the story and the characters um with it being issue one i'm sorry with it being issue zero but I, the rest of the issues gotta be fire so kudos to animation comic entertainment you guys are on one with this i hope you guys get all the success that you deserve uh, I would like to see this in like an anime or just cartoon form. Something that's like obviously more mature because there's like death and all that shit. But definitely from like the animation team that did Spawn on HBO back in the day. Like this kind of reminds me of that, which is super dope. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. I highly recommend it. Again, it is $5 for the hard copy on their website, $3 for the digital. So, you know whatever you want to do go over there and cop that make sure you guys follow their ig profile also follow me on all my different platforms as well and um yeah that's it i had fun with this i'm gonna you know let's rock out and fucking make some more indie fucking reviews like this of manga comics i know i'm gonna also throw some cartoons in there as well i got a bunch of indie cartoons that i've just been checking out on youtube so i kind of want to get those in the mix and um yeah i just want to fucking up the content a notch and um, kick ass for you guys. So that's it. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Deuces.